Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley. I am a mom of three. I make videos all about homeschool, motherhood, and our daily lifestyle, everything in between. Today's video, I am sharing with you all about our homeschool space and how to homeschool in a small home. It is possible to homeschool without a room. So at the beginning of this homeschool year, um, I put my kids in a shared bedroom and then made a homeschool room as our homeschool room. <laughs> but turns out after like two or three months, it just wasn't working. We kept going to the room. We just felt like we were stuck there. We just felt like we had to keep coming here and then the curriculum wasn't working. So it just got more drained on us. But you don't need a homeschool room to homeschool your kids. We live in a, I'm not even going to say the dimensions, but it's a very small trailer home. Because if, if I would have said the dimensions, it would have been like, whoa, is that even right coming out your mouth? But I don't know. We live in a single wide trailer home. And as a family of five, we're starting to outgrow it. But I have made changes to our home not dra not drastically, but we made changes to accommodate our homeschool space. So like I was telling you, I tried to do the homeschool room and it wasn't working. So where we homeschool is our kitchen table. And that might not work for some of you because your kitchen table is like your, your thing. Like that's where you eat. That's where you, you know, do all the things. Um, but like, yes, it, it can get a little crammed up whenever you're done school and then you want to go eat or somebody else is not done school, but somehow we just make it work. You don't always have to sit at the kitchen table. Um, sometimes we just sit on the sofa, we read our book, we read aloud, we do one, one little lesson on there, or sometimes we sit on the living room floor on a blanket. We lay down and we do our lesson laying down. Um, we just make it work. We have rolling cords where we store all our art and school supplies like pencils and colors and paper. And then we have one small shelf where we keep all our books. Some books we don't use and I can get rid of, but I'm waiting till the end of the year. Some books we do use daily where it's stored correctly where it needs to go. And then that's, that's our homeschool room. We don't need a big old space. We just need to feel comfortable. We just need to feel like we are loved there. We just need to have, we just need to feel encouragement. We just need to be able to do our work and save it and then be done, move on. So this is our homeschooling shelf where we keep all our books and storage for now. It really needs to be revamped and gone through. This is our storage supply cord that holds all our paper, art supplies, pencils, and colors. And this is how we store our homeschool. This is how we store it. It gets parked right there in the corner and our shelf stays right here in, in between the kitchen and living room. And I just gave me a video idea of, hi, it just gave me a video idea of organizing and cleaning out this stuff. We do homeschool. <laughs> you love homeschool? Yeah. Okay. And then this is where we do our homeschool, mostly on the kitchen table. That's what you gotta do? Okay. So guys, that was my homeschool space. My whole house is my homeschool space. You don't need a room. You don't need the most expensive curriculum. You just need to know what works best for your child and just to have a space where you feel encouraged and your kids feel loved. All right, guys, that is it for that video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.